Hello, Kev Edwards Simral here. Uh, today we're going to be looking into telemetry on Richard Burns Rally and how to extract the telemetry from in your game so you can look at your brake temperatures, tyre temperatures, um, damper settings, spring settings, the forces and all that type of stuff uh, and extract it out of the game to be able to view it so you can see if your tyres are overheating, if they're running in the optimal temperatures and all that type of stuff. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is, uh, let's see if I can get this small in screen, if you Google uh, GNU plot uh, and you'll get this page here uh, and this should l give you a link to where to download it from. Um, so, uh, uh, okay, so yeah, click on download, uh, primary site. I've done this a few weeks ago, uh, yada yada yada. Uh, so, download latest version, I've already got it, so I'm not going to bother. And then you'll go through your normal sort of download um, processes, uh, and then you'll have it. Uh, so I, I didn't make a shortcut, stupidly enough. So when I go onto mine, uh, I have it in here. I go on to bin. Uh, this is one way to start it up. This isn't the way we have to use it. We have to go down to this one down here. Uh, WGNU plot. Um, but if you start it with a... When you install it, if you put a desktop saver on it, a shortcut, then you can probably just start it from there. But that that's where I started from. Um, so okay. So what you would do when you're actually in game? Um, I shall load the game up and I'll show you how to implement it. Okay. Okay, so when you're into RBR, you go onto Options, Plugins, NGP, and you press T on your keyboard, and you'll see it has telemetry recording toggles on off. So T again turns it off. So yeah, just press T. Something to note: only turn it on when you want to record something because it takes up a lot of space. Um, if it's constantly recording every time you play your game, you're going to be using you're going to be uh, using up a lot of uh, space on your on your hard drive and stuff. So just turn it on when you're going to use it, and then turn it off afterwards. So what you would do then is say you go on to a normal stage. So let's go on to. Yeah. I tell you what, let's do a long stage so we can get the temperatures up. Um, okay, so I'm going to do Sherwood Forest. Um, it's not too bad, 13.5 kilometers, maybe 8 or so minutes. So um, I'll play through this and I'll see you at the end. To stop. Okay. Um, so, it was a fairly steady run, I just wanted to get through it without no mistakes, so it wasn't um, anything spectacular, but uh, I shall now show you where to extract the telemetry off that stage what we have just done. Just remember, if you are just doing that stage, like I said, uh, what you probably want to do, which is what I'm going to do now, so you don't forget. Uh, options, uh, plugins, NGP, and turn the telemetry off by pressing T so you're not constantly recording. Um, okay, we'll jump into the files now to see how to extract. Okay, so from your RBR root folder, um, I've, I'm on RBR Pro at the minute, so I go RBR Pro and then game. 
there's games kind of the root folder in RBR Pro. But if you're just on normal RBR Pro, this will be your main folder. Uh, from here, you go to plugins, physics, NG, uh, and telemetry. And that's where your telemetry. So if it's your first time, you'll just have one stored in there. Uh, obviously that's my latest run so i've had a few in the past um so what we need to do now put that to one side for now you then open up your um <coughs> yeah so you then you'd open up your gum gun plot or whatever it's called uh, so for me it's down here click on that and it should open up to a window like this that's that open in the meantime you also want to open your notebook your notebook um so i have already got one ready that I save. Um, so you want to start a notebook open. Uh, and I, I just have this ready. So the first thing I need to do. Is. Copy this. So I'll leave a link in the description. So you can copy and paste this. And then save this into a notebook and just save this save a notebook with this uh, script in ready um so copy that go onto your gun pilot paste it press enter then you want to go tell you what before we do that let's just copy and paste this ready so this this is the next line that you want to do i've already got one in there but i'm gonna i'm gonna take that out um and put the latest one in instead so click on this so it comes up copy that script then get rid of that and then get rid of this and copy that new one in there or we'll paste that new one in there so i'll leave this in for you but if you if you if you can't copy and paste it for some reason that's what you need to do you need to make sure you've got a comma there comma there and the script is with within the commas and then it's obviously the path and then it's the um, the extracted telemetry goes in so when you change when you want to put your next card in just delete so or your next run delete that and put the new one in um so copy that then back onto your gun pilot piss off okay and then you go so you don't copy and paste that in now what you do is you go functions define use available type file okay and then you cut then you paste that into there then so that long script with the telemetry recording paste in there that's okay then that should be it then what you need to do to be able to see it is go back onto file open and it's in here then what you need to do is go from default click all files and this is all your different telemetry recordings so say for instance we want to look at um breakways double click and it'll it loads in then we've got uh, 
all our breakaways and stuff. So you can see the breakaway, how it affected during the stage. So we were like, obviously it's only one stage. What wasn't very long, so we're not going to have like a massive amount of wear, but it gives you an idea of what to expect when you're going to be doing multiple stages. Um, and if you're doing adjustments and setups, you can you can keep looking at it and you can see if the wear is going up or down or maybe if you want to if you're struggling with brake wear when you're doing tournaments maybe you're over braking you can sort of track it in this and see what techniques work to lower your brake wear and stuff like that um also if you need to once you've looked at one you can only do one at a time. So with each one, you've got to do the same again. File, all files, and get it back up again. So let's do, uh, let's do tire wears, for instance, and we can check the tire wear. So a little bit sort of harder to read. Also, as well, if you want to just what look at certain ones you can delete them or get them back up there so if you just wanted to look at your your rears for instance your left back and rear back then you can sort of you can see it there but quite a bit of tire wear um well seven percent nearly seven percent but again you can see if you if your driving style is causing too much tire wear and stuff like that um also as well if you need um if you look in your your roof folder uh you'll get uh let me find it okay so if you want to see if you want like a couple of guidelines on tire wear and uh what your best tire wear is you go into plugins physics and the readme file in there for ngp has got it's actually got quite a lot of useful information in um so it's always worth scrolling through this when there's been an update and stuff because uh whatever is being updated is is generally in here um so if we scroll down to give you like a couple of little tips and stuff as well Uh, like uh, if you're struggling, sometimes you get constant um, skid noises on tarmac. I'm struggling with this. I still haven't really found uh, the right setting for it. It's only on certain stages. Certain stages, I'll have a constant tire squeal. Um, direct gear mapping, because obviously NGP6, you don't need the uh, H pattern plug-in or H shifter plug-in, whatever it was. Um, so it gives you some advice on how to configure stuff like that as well. Uh, but what we want is tire management. So this gives you the values of when the tires are running in the optimal uh, temperature. Um, so if we go on to back onto our pilot now. Um, Yeah, back onto our pilot we go file again open all files let's go down to tire temps there's our there's our tire temps there so we're running in so we were on a dry gravel so we we want to be running between 65 and 95 degrees. So we've actually dipped. Um, so the tires, the rear tires have actually gone quite cold at a point there, and I've, I haven't been running in the uh, optimal uh, optimal temp. We want to be we want to be up here somewhere. Uh, front tires. I've been okay, they've been, uh, in fact, no, 65's up here. Uh, yeah, so we are, what we can do now is play around with 
high uh, pressures uh, and see if we can get some more heat in the tyres by maybe lowering the tyre pressures or hiring them, uh, depending on where we're at. Um, so it gives us a gives us a reference to to go at and to aim at. So yeah, we we want to we want to be there. So there's not much of the stage where we're actually running at a, at an optimal tyre temp. That's probably because I took the stage a little bit easy. So it'd be interesting to to maybe do it again. I mean, I'm not going to do it for the sake of this video, but just for like myself, uh, to to go at the stage full throttle. If max attack and see if the tire tempers actually do come up in the range then um so it gives you an idea of when you're not pushing on a stage are you actually losing grip and making it more difficult for yourself because you haven't got you haven't got the right heat in the tires so by trying to take it easy you might actually catch yourself out um so yeah so that that's another uh, good thing to look at uh, See what it says about brake performance. I'm saying velocity depends. Okay, so yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot in there you can play down with. I mean, I only really know the basics. So, uh, there's probably some of you out there who can really delve into a lot of this. Like you've got spring forces and stuff like that. So when you're setting up your suspension, you can, um. You can get an idea of what your spring forces are doing. I wouldn't even know where to start, if I'm honest. Um, so if anyone is, if anyone does start rooting through it and figures some other stuff out as well, let us know in the comments. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, it'd be, a, it'd be a great help. A little bit of a reference point for people to go at and uh, see what each setting does and what it means. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know how to get it up, but uh, half the stuff I, don't, I wouldn't even know where to start. Uh, with looking at it, well, yeah, I'm just using the basics, the tire temps and the brake temps and stuff like that. Um, so I think that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I hope this helps. It's really useful. It's a useful tool to have if you know what you're doing with it. Um, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But once you know what you're doing, say once you've got once you've got that notepad saved, the next time you go into it, so. Let's uh, cancel it all again and go through it one more time. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let let's go through it one more time. Um. So, first off, copy that. So once you've got this, you've already got it, just save it in a, in a file somewhere, maybe like RBR setups. Um, and you can save certain, you can maybe take a screenshot or whatever of some values that you want to keep so you can reference back to it so you don't go have to go through all this again. Um, so copy, paste. Enter. Uh, then, so say for instance we wanna we wanna look at a different car now. So again, we go go into your roof folder. Go into plugins, physics ng, telemetry, and I'll do this this folder for instance. Copy that, make sure you get the full lot. Yeah, get rid of that, then delete this. So I've just pasted that new one in there then. So just copy and paste that in there. And then copy that. back into your thingy. Don't forget to go file. Define use available. Type in file there. OK. And then paste that in there. OK. File. 
open and then all files so now we've got the i think it was a scoda loaded up you get the point anyway um so hope this helps uh enjoy spending hours dicking around looking at gaps and not getting anywhere because <laughs> that's pretty much what i do um but yeah it's handy to have and again like if anyone knows any more information or is can shine any more light on how to read like the the springs and the roll bar settings and stuff like that uh, then let us know in the comments and um, but for now that's me and uh, don't forget like subscribe hit the bell for notifications and i'll see you on the next one